term acid-free gets tossed around a lot, but just what does acid-free actually mean? First, a quick review. Remember 7th grade science class all those zillions of years ago? Acids have a pH of 0 through 6. A pH of 7 is neutral. Bases have a pH of 8 through 14. Now, just how does all this apply to your collectibles, artwork, family heirlooms, works on paper, photographs, and fabrics? Well, take a look at this. There is not much that can be done to mitigate that level of internal acid damage other than to carefully scan the original and make copies and then perhaps consult a trained professional conservator. What you can do, however, is store your important family documents, collectibles, and artworks in acid-free boxes, mats, folders, envelopes, and interleaving tissues. Like that drawing, newsprint is notorious for its high acid content. It too becomes yellow and brittle with age. Yet there are archival storage solutions for such artifacts. All of the museum quality archival mat boards, boxes, and enclosures we offer are manufactured from acid-free materials. In addition, in order to maintain a safe long-term archival environment, and to minimize any chance of acid migration from your artworks or artifacts, most of our acid-free materials are buffered with 2-3% calcium carbonate. This calcium carbonate buffering provides our museum quality storage and presentation materials with an archivally safe pH of 9, which will help neutralize any acids that might migrate from your artifact or artwork. Buffered acid-free mat boards, boxes, envelopes, and interleaving tissues are what are most commonly recommended for most archival storage and presentation needs. There are, however, exceptions, especially for certain fabrics and photographic processes. When storing protein-based fabrics or artifacts, such as silk or wool, one should always use unbuffered archival tissue, as these fabrics should not be exposed to direct contact with standard 2-3% calcium carbonate buffering agents. When storing vegetable-based fabrics or artifacts, such as cotton, either buffered or unbuffered archival tissue can be used. As mentioned, certain photographic processes such as cyanotypes or blueprints and dye transfer prints just don't like calcium carbonate buffering agents which can harm them. These types of images should be interleaved with unbuffered archival tissue. Cyanotypes and dye transfer prints can also be placed in archival polyethylene bags before they are stored in buffered acid-free enclosures and boxes, the perfect archival solution. Additionally, there are some older photographic conservation guides that suggest that the dyes and chemically processed color photographic prints can be harmed by exposure to calcium carbonate buffering agents. This, however, is usually not the case. In practice, since calcium carbonate buffering agents do not migrate like some acids can, using buffered mat boards and interleaving with color photographs is fine, as exposure to liquid water is required both the interleaving paper or tissue and the gelatin layer of the print itself getting wet for there to be any transfer of buffering agents to your print. Using buffered mats and interleaving can therefore be considered safe for use with color photographs because if your interleaving material and the print itself get wet then you have even greater problems than anything caused by the potential transfer of buffering agents. If you're still in doubt, however, go with unbuffered archival tissue.
still have a question regarding acid-free storage and presentation, or whether buffered or unbuffered is right for your particular needs or applications, contact us here at Archival Methods. We're always there to help answer all your archival questions. Thank you.